Professor? Andrew. <coughs> Thank you for inviting me uh, to see your great work, Professor. Tell me, Professor, has such great work ever been done before, Professor? It is a profound question that you have posed, Andrew, to answer you truthfully in respect of great works. Probably not. I am, as you can see, Andrew, a man of many vices. This finger, Andrew, the fickle finger of fate, Andrew, has been in many places that it should not have been, Andrew. It has been down chicken skeletons and up chicken's asses, Andrew. Always in the insatiable quest, Andrew, for the perfect crack. <clears throat> so, Professor, what uh, got you started on this quest, this selfless, lifelong inquiry into matters there? Well, Andrew, uh, coming from a long lineage of scientists, Andrew, I don't forget much, Andrew. Uh, do you have an opinion, then? Uh, a top pocket, Professor. <clears throat> my first and most critical mistake, Andrew, was to ask my mother when aged five, Andrew, not her, Andrew. She was 35 at the time, Andrew. I mean, when I was five. Remind me, young man, what is your name again? Andrew, Professor. My name is Andrew. Yes, well, Andrew, no need to tell me the things I do know, Andrew. The people who have impressed me over the years, Andrew, are the ones who could tell me what I don't already know, Andrew. As I was saying, Andrew, I, I asked my mother where did I come from, and, um, Andrew, she did not say to me, you came out of Mummy's tummy. No, Andrew. She whipped out a fallopian tube, an ovary. I mean, Andrew, I blushed even at the age of five, and Andrew, she told me that I had come from an egg, Andrew. Imagine that, Andrew. All the other kids had come from the stork or their mother's tummy, and I was special, Andrew. That thing that every little boy needs to hear from his mum. I was special, Andrew. From then till now. <clears throat> so, Professor, can you give us an example of how you see the world? Thank you for asking, Andrew. To give you just one example, the world is made up of two kinds of people, Andrew. Those who see the dichotomy and those who don't. A second example of giving one example, Andrew, would be to see the world as those that are full of beans and those that are has beans. A third example of giving, oh dear, one example, Andrew. I was brought up in a little-known place called New Zealand, which for reasons that won't surprise any of your viewers, Andrew, abounded with Chinese restaurants. Perhaps it was an omen, Andrew, that my favourite of these restaurants was called The Dead Duck. I clearly recollect while eating number 42, the Douglas Adams with egg noodle, the proprietor telling me that I had more noodle than average, Andrew. <clears throat> Professor! Professor! Oh, Andrew! Uh, Professor, I understand that you've wasted half your... Uh, uh, Professor, I understand that you've wasted half your... I mean... Uh, no, no, just... Uh, yeah. Uh, Professor. I understand that you've wasted half your... I mean, you've given a great deal of thought over your lifetime to the subject of eggs. Well, Andrew, you could say wasted. In fact, you did. Andrew, most people give a maximum of four minutes thought to eggs, unless they want them hard-boiled. Me, Andrew, I've given it 50 years from the age of five to my present age of... Oh, what's 5 plus 55? Oh, that's a great idea. Hmm. 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 About 55, Andrew. For most of my life, Andrew, eggs have consumed me. I mean, for most of my life, I have consumed eggs. No, I mean the subject, Andrew, the subject of eggs has consumed me. But wait, wait a little heavier. These questions have weighed heavily on my mind. I don't want to mislead you, Andrew. 
Nor does seem dogmatic, but someone prophetically told me that I was barking up the wrong tree. It's been a dirty business, Andrew, and I refuse to be beaten by it. And another thing, Andrew, since time immemorial, humans have counted amongst their highest ideals successfully cracking an egg. It's no joke, Andrew. Like you and I, they've searched in vain for the perfect crack. For along the way, I have done some underhanded things, Andrew, in the spirit of much coveted research grants, Andrew. God help me if ever the Nobel Committee finds out, Andrew, but I did on one occasion pass off a humble ping pong ball painted with cadmium yellow paint, Andrew, as if it was truly an egg yolk, Andrew. And uh, that is all I can confess to at this time, Andrew. I always say, Andrew, what happens inside the eggshell stays inside the eggshell. Professor, or can you level with me? Both, Andrew. Allow me to level with you, Andrew. I've been injecting great secrets up. Chickens, Master. 